205 Bill Street in Memphis, Tennessee, the home of the original deep fried hamburger, Dyer's world famous hamburger. Joan by the name of Elmer Dyer came up from northern Mississippi to Memphis in 1912 and started Dyer's Hamburger Restaurant. Well, back then, you know, they didn't have the flat tops and all this, so they cooked in a cast iron skillet. So, as you cook more burgers, the grease grows and you eventually it becomes a, a deep fried hamburger. We strain and process our grease daily but we've never thrown it out and started over. So somewhere in there is molecules from 1912. That's what makes it so good. We take the meat out, roll it into balls, take our spatula and pounder and pound it flat out, scrape it off a marble countertop and plop it in our 90-year-old grease. It sinks to the bottom and starts to cook around the edges and pretty soon it floats to the top and when it floats to the top, it's done. Take it out take the top of the bun and go down there and get it and you drain the grease off as much as you can. Of course it's soaking in the top of the bun, you put it on the mustard, onion, pickle. Every now and then somebody grumble there's no lettuce or tomato and we explain to them why. You know, I could have it, I don't want it because it's not our concept. And, uh, and that's part of the, of, the, of the tradition and that's part of, the, of what the guests like also. An average day at Dyer's on Bill, we probably prepare Oh gosh, three, four, five hundred hamburgers because we do. We sell a lot of the double, double, and triple, triples. You may be getting one burger to your table, but it might have up to three patties on it. So it's a lot of hamburger meat. I will not disclose our secret process for seasoning the grease because unless your grease is 91 years old, it's not going to help you anyway. Uh, uh, solía comer en el viejo oh, no, Dyer's, eh, eh, estaba situado a unos 20 kilómetros de aquí y era una pequeña casona con dos cuartas blancas a los costados y recuerdo una cocina muy precaria, tú sabes, no. recuerdo un pequeño ventilador que empujaba toda la grasa hacia afuera y uno estaba en la calle, tal vez con hambre, tú sabes, y oh, todos adentro a comer, tenías que ver cómo golpeaban la carne y la sumergían en la grasa. Bueno, y acá lo que te muestran y te cuenta el capo, el gordito este, es que cuando se mudaron del local, de la casucha esa roja que estaban antes, que fue el local original, a donde está él sentado ahora, transportaron la grasa en esos baldes, eso que están bajando ahí es la grasa de hace 90 años, que fue custodiada y escoltada por la policía, ahí está la moto, ese es el día de la inauguración, están por abrir el local eh, y también lo transmitieron por los noticieros, en la tele, en todos lados. Hasta el alcalde se hizo presente, que es el que, el que aparece en la foto, divino, la verdad. Uh, broadcast nationally. If you are watching your health at all, I would recommend going next door. We've been doing it for 91 years, so obviously something's working. It's evolved, but yet it stayed the same. You know, the whole key is the hamburger deep fried in the, in the, in the grease, and that's not changed one bit.